Hi guys, welcome back. It's Sankar again here, bringing you another video. And in this video, we're going to be discovering logic. And not just any logic, this is minecart logic. Now, minecart logic is what is known as a dual rail logic. And basically what it means is it has one line which is the zero, and one line which is the one. Now, you might may be asking why that is so. Well, the thing is, you can't get, like, a constant stream of minecarts and then no minecarts suddenly just by a flick of a switch. Well, you might be able to do that, but that would require a ton of minecarts, so that's extremely inefficient. So instead, what we can use is we can use pulses. So, for example, say we wanted to send a signal to a door to say that it opens, right? So this is our zero line and this is our one line. What we would do is we would send a pulse down the one line and this would tell the door to open. Now, when we, um, when we want the door to close, then we're going to press the other button which will tell the door to close. Now you might be asking yourself, so how are we going to turn, you know, flicking of levers into a zero and a one? Well, that's actually surprisingly simple. You just have an intersection like this. And now, this lever is currently off, right? So this is going down the zero line. So if a minecart comes along here, it'll just go down the zero line. And now this minecart actually comes from a clock, or what is known as a clock. Um, but for us it will just be a press of a button, because this logic is going to be so slow uh, that if you're going to be using it in a computer or something, that computer will be ultra slow. Anyway, moving on, um, and then if we want this to be on, we flick the lever, and now, lo and below and behold, the minecart is going down the blue section, which is the one. So, now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's talk a bit about the logic gates. The first logic gate that we're going to go over is the NOT gate. Now, this is surprisingly simple. You're just flipping the zero line over to the one line, and the one line over to the zero line, as shown. So, this zero becomes a one. This one becomes a zero. Extremely simple. Now, just to show you, this is the more compact version. It uses um, a directional, I guess you could call it a feature, directional feature, that the uh, minecart coming along here, <coughs> pardon me, will come down here and then up here. So let me just show you that this works. There you go. So this one became a zero, and this zero becomes a one. Now it's all very well just having a NOT gate, but we need other gates too. Now the first thing that I have here is the signal splitter. And this is extremely simple. And basically it's just one line with two OR gates on either side. This is the OR gate over here. Um, so let me just show you firstly the signal splitter and then the OR gate. They both work on the same principle. And basically, when this cart goes down here, it will push these other two carts forward. And this can be extremely useful in uh, starting up things with no redstone required. This is the OR gate. So if I activate this guy, then the minecart over there will be pushed forward. If I also activate... whoops... If I also activate this guy over here, after removing the items on the track, it also pushes this card in the middle. So that's one version of the OR gate that I made. This was the original version, which requires redstone, which I turned into this version, which works as well. So as you see, this line activates the cart, this line activates the cart. Um, the only downside to this is this is much larger than this one, but I think this works in every direction, whereas that 
is in only in certain directions. Now we're going to be moving on to the AND gate, and I've got the instant wire version of the AND gate here. Um, so let me just show you that first. We can see that when this one goes off, that this one is on still, so this instant wire doesn't work. Again, we can see that this doesn't uh, make the instant wire work, but if we activate both at the same time, the instant wire sends a pulse through. The minecart version uses exactly the same idea as this AMP gate. It's just 18 times bigger. So here it is, here is the AND gate, and it's extremely complex, I will do a tutorial on, on it if you guys want me to, um, but yeah, it's kind of complicated, I'll just show you that it works first. We activate this guy, and nothing happens, apart from that minecart goes through its loop. Uh, we activate this guy over here, and nothing happens. But if we activate both of them at the same time, we see that minecart over there falls through, boosting this cart around and back to where it was. So that's the AND gate there. Uh, this is called an internal AND gate, and you can use it to make all the other logic gates, like the actual AND gate, the actual OR gate. Um, and the XOR gate, XNOR gate, all those sorts of things you can make with this AND gate and these OR gates here. Right, the final thing that I want to show you guys is this. Now this must look pretty complicated, but it does a very simple job. Basically what it is, is it's a bidirectional booster. So if your minecart is coming in this direction, it'll get boosted in this direction and if it's coming in this direction then it'll be boosted into this direction so let me just show you this working so it's slightly complicated again if you want I'll do a tutorial on this it is pretty simple it's just it just requires a lot of directional bugs and stuff like that but it all links together to make this utterly fantastic uh, booster system, which works incredibly well. Um, I haven't had a problem with it yet. It just carries on working with nothing stopping it. This here is 15 minecarts. Uh, no, sorry, five minecarts. This is one minecart. And this all works with um, the old, old, old boosters. Uh, it works in a similar principle to them, uh, so I am really excited about this because this is the only thing other than the sieve which <laughs> boosts your minecart, but this one you can put one after the other after the other. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time for my next video. See ya! Click here to see my Sieb commercial. Click here to see my 100 subscriber special. And click here to be updated with my future content. Thanks for watching!